All right, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. See if we get any uh, events heading up uh, to my good friend Zira's home Grand Prix. I would uh, hope we don't, and it looks like we're not going to, folks. So, welcome along. It's Tuesday. You know what that means. Welcome along to episode number 76 of our F123 My Team Career Mode here with Team Chase Liner. And it's time for the Australian Grand Prix. If you do like the content you say, fair dinkum. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Goes uh, a long way to helping the channel. Stick another titty on the barbie, mate. <laughs> I've, I've probably just annoyed Zero there. Uh, and if I have... Oh, well. <laughs> He'll get over it. Probably by uh, putting a hammer upside my head uh, when we uh, meet in the future. Uh, there is how everything uh, goes for the uh, team. Looking uh, very tight and very compact in the, the top tier of F1. And then you have everyone else that's uh, not very tight and not very compact. Jackie leads the way by seven points from Sergio Perez. Then comes Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, Esteban Ocon, George Russell, Liam Lawson, Oscar Piastri, Carlos Sainz and Lewis Hamilton round out your top ten. Cali P14 with just one point to a name. And then all the usual guys that are usually hanging around at the back of the field who haven't scored a point yet. Which is very sad and very depressing. And could lead to something rather, rather serious. Anyway, going to take practice and qualifying with the girls. And we will see you on the other side of this for the Australian Grand Prix. Please don't mess it up, EA. Few places embrace Formula One like Melbourne. It is a truly brilliant sentence to say. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. It's a relatively new look at Albert Park after its 2022 redevelopment. Turns 1, 3, 6 and 13 are all wider than they once were. We have thrown turns 9 and 10 into the bin. We do still have three DRS zones that will give our drivers that opportunity to overtake. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Oscar Piastri lines up on pole position and the governess completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid we have, Norris, Liam Lawson, Verstappen, Perez, Russell, Gasly, Hamilton, Sainz, Ocon, Leclerc, Mayer, Stroll, Drugovich, Bottas, Magnussen, Albert, Sonoda, Joe, Sargent, and Nick de Vries rounds off the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. So it was an incredible lap that saw Jackie take P2. I think the status quo has been resumed after uh, what happened in Saudi Arabia. Although, let's be fair, Saudi Arabia really did give her some bit of a fight back. But uh, there's a lot of different strategies going on here. we got uh, Piastri, the two McLarens on mediums, everyone else in the top five on softs. I imagine those soft runners are going to uh, have some fun towards uh, the end of the... Uh, sorry, the medium runners are going to have some fun towards the end of the Grand Prix, so we'll keep an eye on Oscar Piastri here at his home race. But we are all lined up and we are ready to roll to go to the five red lights here at Albert Park for the Australian Grand Prix. Did we do? Let's go. It's lights out and away we go, mate. And uh, wow, Piastri did, didn't go at his home Grand Prix. In fact, Piastri has really fallen down uh, the back of the field. It's Lando Norris that's the uh, chasing car as Jackie takes the lead into the first corners down to turn three. She'd be uh, well advised to uh, make these soft tyres work and make them work right this very second because if not, then uh, Lando is going to be all over the back of her. She needs to get out of DRS and out of DRS very quickly because if he gets in DRS, then it's going to be game over. I just have that awful and horrible feeling that uh, it could be about to go. But f into this new fast section for uh, for this year's Grand Prix, it looks absolutely spectacular. But we have company uh, coming with us because that McLaren is really, uh, how best can we say it? It's really keeping up with her through these uh, fast sections. And so is uh, Lawson Order as well. Dun, dun as uh, Lando thinks about a move into turn 13, but that is definitely not uh, going to work out for her. As we head through turn 14, and now to the slowest corner on the track, turn 15, 
which will lead then on to turn 16 and it is going to be another lap for Jackie as she tries to keep the lead out of uh, Lord, um, Norris's hands but uh, they seem to have an advantage on the straight here for uh, some insane and bizarre reason. I don't quite know what it is. As we look, oh, lost an order in Dundum. Having a look up the inside of Norris, but that wasn't uh, going to work out for uh, him in the slightest. As we go to uh, the new boy, Felipe Bay, Drugovic. He's uh, going to be passed up the inside by Guan Yu Zhou. Guan Yu on the medium tyre. So we've got some medium runners down through the field here as uh, Drugovic gets past uh, Zhou there. But, uh, and... Uh, I don't know what's going on. No, so it's Bottas getting past Drogovic. I do apologise. Joe is up here trying to get past Kevin Magnussen as uh, Carlos Sainz gets past Callie Mayer for uh, some bizarre and insane reason. Now on to lap number three and you can see on board Lawson Order. Dun dun. As a, oh, he's gone up the ins. Oh my god, they're going to be free wide into turn 13. Oh, that's a bit too much curb, but he's took uh, Liam Lawson and that's uh, very nice, very kind of you there. So as we look at Lewis Hamilton coming through turn 15 and uh, Lewis Hamilton is aggressive has gone around and that has blocked the track and that's going to be a red flag that's going to be a red flag look at all these hey what are these cars doing passing Jackie I mean uh, Callie sorry Callie's been absolutely right. there you go there's the red flag thankfully there's no rain this time to um to mess around with us uh, shall we say <laughs> So we can get onto the mediums and we have no problem at all. That is absolutely charge, fine with me. So it's going to be mediums the now. Restart is going to be on lap number six. So I don't know what the medium runners are going to go on. Are they going to go on soft? Are they going to go on hards? I don't Let's know, but uh, I... Let's make the best of this You're joking. You have got to be kit EA have done it again but that that is it, 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 it it's got to be said now it uh, it has got to be said and i'm sorry but a meltdown will happen now EA have got to be the worst video game company in the history of existence what have they done to this beautiful game that co-masters brought out and then ea have gone and absolutely pissed all over huh? what have they gone and done i'm, I'm sorry now the, the, it has to be said that ea have got to be the worst gaming company in the history of, of existence the the amount of errors and bugs and lord knows what which has gone wrong with this game and especially my team career mode all because they want to put out a, a bloody thing that nobody wants and nobody cares about because it's pay to win Ugh. yeah just come in girl come in and get the mediums we'll finish last don't worry about us Seriously, right? The the amount of things that is wrong with my team is incredible. You saw, right, from the graphics, we have a fully upgraded car. There is no way we should be literally crawling along Main Street, and there is also no way that we should be struggling for turning on corners. We shouldn't be struggling with wheel spin either. This mo, my team is broken. And, and I swear, if my team is not fixed, as we go to Cali Bear, if it's not fixed for F124, I'm not buying another F1 game again. EA can go and start off. I will happily, happily, right, give all of my stuff to Frontier Games with the F1 Manager Series because at least Frontier put out a game that is actually A, playable, and B, very enjoyable to play. EA content at the moment is just not enjoyable. It is horrible and it is rancid, EA. Sort it out. In fact, I'll do a video at the end of um, at the end of the um, season four. Season four will definitely be the last uh, season. I'm I'm not interested in another season. But uh, Ocon and Gasly. So sorry, guys, but it, it's got to be said. It's got to be said. EA are just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Anyway, Nick De Vries. He's been uh, passed by Felipe Drogovic. That's for P20. And yeah, 
you, you, you can probably tell by now I've, I've lost the will to even record this video because I, I want to uh, lose it on an absolute rant, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save it for the video I'm going to do at the end of F1 uh, 23 by team career mode, and then you can all uh, have your viewpoints there. But uh, we just did Gazi and Ocon uh, fighting there. That's a P8 as we go to Cali Mayer, who's got Valtteri Bottas uh, all over a rear end or his rear end, I should say, around the outside of turn 13, is going to go Cali Mayer, and Cali will move up to P12. Cali is not having a good season four at the moment, and I don't know why. She doesn't seem to be qualifying well. She doesn't seem to be racing well either. I don't know if something's changed, if she's had a nerf or what, but uh, it doesn't seem to be working for her as uh, Kevin Magson goes around the outside of Logan Sargent, that's a P16 on board with Carlos Sainz in P10, looking at the back of the two Alpines, you've got Ocon in front of Gasly, let's see what happens as they come start lap number 9, Ocon into turn 1, Gasly goes on, and Gasly, oh my god, he almost came back on a wiped out Charles Leclerc, oh yeah, hold on Cali, yeah of course. What, I bet she loses out of position to Bottas now as well. Oh, she might uh, lose out to... It might be Guan Yu Zhou that uh, is the better factor because look at the Guan Yu coming in at a rate of knots. Going to go around the outside of uh, Valtteri Bottas into turn three. This could be for P13. Oh, Bottas gives him the squeeze. Oh, Bottas gave him the squeeze. That's not what you want to do to your teammates. They don't do that in um, F1 Manager. That's uh, for damn sure as we go on board with a Hollywood Land Stroll. We haven't seen a Hollywood Land Stroll all career so far. And this is the first time we're actually seeing... Well, off the top of my head, it's the first time we're seeing Hollywood Land Stroll. <coughs> Mainly because I think he's having uh, his own races out there. But on board now with Carlos Sainz chasing down Esteban Ocon for P8. I wonder... If, oh, Ocon looks very... Oh, that's a squeeze onto the grass. That's a squeeze onto the grass there, son. But uh, thankfully, uh, Carlos has got uh, the racecraft and the knowledge to uh, get past in there as uh, Ocon now looks at the back of Charles Leclerc. And these Ferraris do seem to have uh, sorted themselves out after Bahrain as uh, Charles Leclerc looks at it. Oh, he's got some dirt on it. You can see the, the pick, rubber pick up there on uh, Esteban's rear tyres. That, uh, that was a lovely uh, thing right there. But that is uh, Leclerc up to P9 as we go on board with Cali Mayer looking at the back of uh, Pierre Gasly. What's Cali going to do around the outside of turn one? Go on, Cali. Cali into P11. She's got that move uh, sorted. I think she might get uh, another position uh, out of it at the moment as she goes around the outside of turn 12. And now, oh my god, she is, Ocon has put the squeeze on her again, but uh, it's a point for Cali. Into P10 she goes, and now she can give chase after the Ferraris. She does seem to be um, solid race-wise. But uh, other than that, it's, it is just that. It is solid. As uh, we go to Bottas and Joe here for P14. And Bottas going to go around the outside of turn 13. Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he, is he going to get it done? Is he going to get it done? He's not quite going to. He's got it done now through 14. So that's uh, another position for Valtteri Bottas. Now Ocon, I think Ocon is uh, struggling. Something's not right with Ocon. Because uh, Pierre Gasly is uh, now going to go past him into turn one on lap number 11. Oh, that, that looked a bit suspect. That looked a bit tight on the contact there. Let's uh, let's have no more of that, please, uh, between you two. Let's keep it uh, nice and respectable as Lewis Hamilton now. Oh, no. At a, well, now you can see why we left Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton has had an engine blow up. And, oh, the Ferrari's getting caught up there. That'll help Cali. That'll help Cali uh, out a little bit. The two, uh... Oh, did he hit the wall there? I think he did hit the wall there. But I'll tell you what I want to have a look at uh, right here. Let's look at this, because, hello! Jackie's caught... Well, it's not very hard to catch up to Nick DeVries, let's be uh, brutally honest with you. Because uh, Nick DeVries is slower than uh, a slow thing. Speaking of slower than a slow thing, Ocon has somehow got past Gasly again. We didn't uh, see that on camera, but uh, I think Gasly's about to rectify that uh, problem. And Gasly uh, back into the points. P10 is P9 for Cali. So at least Cali's going to uh, take something from this as Zhou goes around the outside of Bottas into turn 13. Good move there from uh, Guan Yu Zhou. As uh, we see Ocon is really struggling. 
I don't know if his softs have gone off. But if his softs have gone off, has anyone else's softs gone off? Because that would be um, interesting to uh, see. I've just remembered as well, I need to record the darts. Yeah, I just remembered that. Nice one, Ian. Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> so, uh, Drogovic now, round the outside of Yuki Sonoda. And Jackie is right there, folks. Look in the background. Here comes Jackie. Jackie's uh, just been slowly going about her business, uh, making sure everything's good. We'll go to the two Red Bulls here because uh, these have been uh, slowly catching uh, Liam Lawson up at the front of the field as uh, around the outside goes Sergio Perez on his teammate. And that's Verstappen down another position. We've seen this uh, from Verstappen in Saudi Arabia. He goes off uh, and he goes uh, looking at the end of uh, Grand Prix. So I wonder if uh, that's uh, a Verstappen traitor's Jackie got an absolutely mega run through turn 16. And uh, that is going to be P19 for Jackie. It may be even more as we go on board with Yuki Sonoda as he looks at uh, Jackie disappearing off into the distance. And Jackie might consider a big dive bomb on Drogovic here. Let's see what Drogovic does. She does go for the dive bomb. Drogovic unfortunately left the door open there. But look at this train. That is P11 all the way through to P17 here. The, the back of that field is Hollywood Land Stroll who's looking at Jackie coming uh, very, very quickly, and we mean very quickly at a rate of knots, as Stroll goes up the inside of Magnussen into uh, turn 11. That's going to be a position there for Hollywood Land Stroll in the Aston Martin. Good uh, good move there as we now see this train with Ocon at the front of the train, and uh, Guan Yu Zhou, I think we had luck. He had luck one way, he's now gone the other way. Around the outside of turn 13, always works. As Oh, he took a bit of curb there, did uh, Ocon. Joe is still there. Look at the detail on that um, call out. And Joe has got him. So move Joe up a position as Jackie. Oh, that might be a little deep there into uh, turn 13. But Jackie is right on the back of this train. And she has got momentum. And she has got brakes as well. Hello. She had momentum and she had brakes. And she is gone. We will be seeing you. That might not be all for the uh, fun there, though, folks. Because... She is flying at the moment. In fact, oh my, how about around the outside? Oh my God, Stroll and Sergeant held each other up like absolutely mad. Sergeant holding up Stroll. And now Jackie is going to go past Logan Sergeant like he was standing still. She is flying. She's flying. She's up at the back of Albon. Albon is uh, literally doing uh, nothing. Oh my God, Albon trying to break test. That was uh, not good. And look at the momentum. She, she has got momentum for days. She's up to P12 now. I think these soft tyres are going off. I really do think these soft tyres are disappearing. And very quickly, because she's up the inside of Esteban Ocon. And now she's in P12, could go after Guan Yu Zhou. She might not get uh, another position, but she's definitely going to uh, die trying out there. It's up at the uh, front of the field. We're on the final lap of the Grand Prix. And uh, it's been controlled by a very unlikely source here. George Russell, out of nowhere, has uh, come in and pinched some uh, pockets from uh, a few people. And uh, to the line, it is going to be George Russell that wins the Australian Grand Prix. Ahead of Liam Lawson and, well, Lando Norris and Liam Lawson. Then Piastri and then the two Red Bulls, Perez and Verstappen. But, uh, oh, Jackie's run at the back of Guan Yu Zhou. What a battle back this has been. I think it is. The soft tyre runners just... Their tyres just died. They just died and uh, they didn't want to know uh, anymore. But uh, out of the final corner, battle back from P12. But th the story here is EA. It's EA and the BS. And a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. So, Natalie, what made the difference out there today? For me today, the race was the perfect blend of thrilling overtakes, but also looking after those tyres and really making the stints last just that bit longer. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again.
So let's have a look then at the driver's standings. George Russell takes the lead of the Drivers' Championship. Let's focus on driver of the day, Natalie Pinkham. Come on, who do you pick? There are a few contenders, but George Russell definitely stood out, I think. A really solid drive from him today, and one I'm sure the fans enjoyed. Let's move on to the constructors. Red Bull pull further ahead in the standings. There is also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. Yeah, you, you can wait for the next one all you like. George Russell wins, head of Orlando, Lawson P3, Piastri, Perez, Verstappen, Sainz, Leclerc, Mayer P9, and Pierre Gasly P10. Jackie did come back to P12. Lewis Hamilton DNF'd with his engine problems, but uh, yeah. EA know exactly what they can do, and they can uh, go fornicate themselves. All right, let me, let me tell you all right now, and let me be absolutely brutally honest with you. It's crap like that that makes it what harder to uh, want to play this game. It is crap. EA haven't got a clue. Have not got a clue. I I will be brutally honest with you right now. Do not be surprised if F1 games do not come back to this channel. Do not be surprised. Because it is, it is shit like that that disillusions me with the F1 gaming uh, franchise so much. Cody's had it. It was fine. EA got hold of it. They've ruined it. They have ruined it. Unbelievable. I'm solid at the moment. Anyway, I need to uh, need to calm down. Because if I don't calm down, I'll say something uh, that I regret on uh, EA. Actually, I wouldn't regret it because, uh, quite frankly, well, everyone knows what I'm thinking about EA products uh, right about now, and uh, it's the truth. Unfortunately, it is the stone cold truth. There's nothing there for Cali. Unfortunate. <clears throat> Clear my throat out. At least uh, Callie got a couple of points. That was uh, that was something. Uh, let's just go with that right there. That's all uh, looking good and healthy. Oh, Red Bull are now ahead of us. Great. How can they be ahead of us? We're both maxed out. How? I don't. I don't understand that. I really, really don't understand that. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. If you did enjoy that, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you've already done so. Playlists have appeared all around. Go check out some more Rockstar Pool 69 content at your view and pleasure. But in the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. You can't be kind, be kind, no place will be kind to people. We'll see you tomorrow for F1 uh, Manager, and we'll see you on Thursday for the Chinese Grand Prix on F1 23. And I'm just going to leave you with uh, this closing statement about uh, EA. Fuck EA.